Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be comparing four different um, photo printing places here in the UK. I've got Snapfish, Free Prints, Photo Box and Tesco's. Now this all started because I ordered some of my prints that, that I always do from Snapfish and it came and I could instantly see that the paper had changed. They'd changed from a Fujifilm paper to their own brand paper and um, it just feels a lot more um, flimsy and thin and when I was looking at the quality of the prints they were just not as good quality in my opinion. They were a lot more grainy and um, pixelated and just didn't feel it offered the same level of detail as the um, old pictures had been giving me. I don't know how easy it's going to be to see this um, on the photos but I think it's they've gone for a more structured um, photo whereas these are more blurry and I think that it does look all right but just it you can see all the dots where the ink is um, and so it just doesn't look good on certain areas. It looks way better on things that are more detailed. Um, but also the colours are different. And um, yeah, I just didn't, I wasn't happy with these prints. Um, but then that's led me down the rabbit hole of ordering a whole load of photos from different um, places and finding that there are just kind of differences in the photos and I still can't quite decide which I prefer overall. I've got 10 photos from the different brands to share here today. Um, I picked these photos out without like printing because basically for Tesco's it's really expensive to get the photos printed unless you buy the bulk package. And I didn't want to buy the bulk package before I'd gone through and decided whether that was what I really wanted. So I've got this... Um, piece of paper so that we can remember which is which. So the first set of photos are these ones of us all on a punt in Cambridge. Um, I'm pretty certain that through the camera you can see that there are huge differences in the colours of the photos. Um, so Tesco's is way darker than all of the others. It seems to have darker dark points but also um, some lighter light points so the tesco's photo seems to have the greatest contrast the free prints photo seems to be the most orange um, and giving us all a great tan which looks great on libby who is quite pale but on me it just makes me look like a complete tangerine um snapfish looks all right in terms of the colors i would say um and the photo box looks the um most normal in this photo i would say um and if you compare it to the old one the old snapfish photo is more colored than the new snapfish photo not quite as tanned as the free print one and um more tanned than that one and just the tesco one looks completely different in my opinion um so yeah, that's the kind of colours out of the way. In terms of quality, um, you can tell that the Tesco's one, they're trying to go for a much more sharp looking image, um, which looks a lot better on things like hands. It is a lot more detailed and the um, can in my hand, you can see, is a lot more in focus like the print quality is definitely that is a more you know better quality print um the details are just so much more but the coloring is just completely off so that's kind of the struggle bringing it up again looking focusing in on the can if that seems to be the most detailed part just so much more blurred in this one like you can't really make out my ring at all whereas it's very clear in this photo and again 
in this photo it's so much more blurred you can really see the quality has changed and gone drastically down and but then in the hair because it's so much darker there's less details very interesting um so then excluding from tesco's comparing the free prints and photo box ones um again in the details very similar i'd say photo box is better um yeah i would say that photo box has got more of a crisp image um but this was for this photo so at this point i'm leaning okay i think i like the photo box photo the best tesco's would be the best if it was the right colors but it's so much darker and free print is making us all look orange so i'm going to put these off to the side and bring in the next photo i don't have this for the snapfish one because i did it on a um bigger scale i printed it as a um eight by six and that was the first photo i opened so i thought jesus i'm not ordering that um large prints from them and then that's where i realized that the quality had changed when i opened the small prints so looking at all of these again these are more warm and the um tesco one is more cool but there is so much more detail and kind of depth in this photo compared to the other two that all of a sudden my feelings towards the photo is completely changed and i think that actually it's the middle of winter i like this photo the best um if you can just see the detail on jesse and i mean that is more true to color for jesse she's not you know brown she's a black and white dog um and although i think i like my hair more this color i think this is actually what my hair color is so maybe i just need to go get some hair dye put in um and the balloons you can just tell this is such a more crisp image and it just makes them look so much more 3d and better quality and even in my face that's just so blurred um i think there's a I can't remember, don't know if that's like a glisten in my eye or if I've scratched the photo because I have been looking at these photos a lot. But there still is this blue tinge on the background, but then I think that is just because the wall is white. Um, and you can just see it's more bright. And I just think that it's so much better quality, this photo. And again, compared to photo box, a lot more crisp, a lot more depth in the balloons. Um, and then comparing the free prints and photo box photos. Again, this is more orange. I think the photo box one is slightly better. Um, I can't really tell in terms of the details. I think they are very similar. I don't think that that would put me off either one. So they are, so the next set of photos, again, the Tesco one has much darker points, but it also has some lighter points. Um, the Snapfish photos generally just lightened everything up. Um, but again, the Tesco one just has so much more detail in the photos, but the issue is it's making everything so much darker you can really tell in the speaker that this one looks a lot more grotty because it just seems to be picking up more of the details um and in the greenery here it just is so much more detailed you can tell that that's fake plants in that whereas in this one you can't really tell that it's fake um again in our faces you can just see so much more depth even which i don't like on me because my features are dark but looking at the others especially libby's face i think it just makes everyone seem a bit more 3d and probably more true to life and in the details on the tables you can see very clearly the polaroids whereas they're a bit blurry in this one um and again comparing to photo box same much clearer on the um tesco one and again, free prints being very orange and kind of making everyone very tanned. Um, 
yeah so that's the next set of photos and here i don't mind it being darker it's a winter photo i don't mind the darkness um i'm starting to feel like tesco's is going to be my best bet but i'm going to have to actually edit the photos before i send them off which is going to be interesting <laughs> to try and figure out so the next photos again really really orange with the free prints and um more the colors that i'd want with photo box tesco is making us a bit too blue and probably true to what it is um in terms of quality see sometimes i think it looks better on the faces to have them more blurred and kind of smooths out all your features makes the skin look less textured and you know the detail isn't as needed but when you're looking at photos of things i think that's when it really stands out and means makes the most difference in the passion fruit there i think it does make quite a big difference um in relation to these yeah you can see that the face is just so pixely um which just isn't what I'm looking for. And somehow the Tesco one, it has the details, but it's not pixely like this. I think Snapfish are trying to move more towards this, but they're just getting pixely faces. Um, these ones I was looking at for quite a while. Um, this one is really just washed out. It's not giving me, you know, a tan or like darker but you can just see how much whiter my hair looks than compared to all of these and it's kind of um interesting and everyone's faces might look like a little ghost here which you know might actually be more true to color but my hair is definitely not that color um again free prints making us look extremely extremely tanned and me orange um photo box giving us a nice tan not too overdone. Tesco's really giving the depth. You've got the deep dark colours, but you still got the light colours. Um, in terms of details, you can just tell that Tesco's has a lot more details, which on faces I don't mind not having the details, but you can just really see in my eyes. I think that that is just so much more detailed. You can see all the creases in my eye, which you know, when you're looking at people, you don't care as much. You can see more details in my eyebrow. Um, and with my coat, they're more crisp, whereas that's more fuzzy, which I, I like this for a photo. I like this on people more, but we're going to get into the smaller collages I do. And I think it makes so much more of a difference. Okay. So these smaller photos, it's going to be harder to show like this, but, um, first of all, I will compare the Tesco to the Snapfish in this picture you can just see how pixelated um everything is but it's harder because it's not as crisp things this um image i really think just shows if you look if my camera will focus at the detail it just looks so blurry in comparison to this which looks so much more true to life again looking at the suitcase it just is so much better quality of a print Again, the Domino's Tesco is now being on the top and I just think it's so much better quality than the Snapfish comparing it to the free prints you know free prints actually blurs so it looks more closely I like the faces more here but I think I'm just gonna have to edit the pictures again dominoes it's just the deeper darker those are black dots they're not gray and i'm starting to realize that's a black top not a gray top my coat my bag is black the handle on the suitcase is black but obviously got a lot of light on it i just think that it is probably more true what these are probably true photos and these photos are trying to mimic what we want to see Again, the dominoes darker, but photo books I think are getting better 
than the other ones but again the faces I'm not sure whether I prefer the more detailed faces um yeah so if I compare the free prints and the snapfish you can't quite tell as much about the red turning everyone orange here I do think that this one is more yeah the photo box one is more detailed in the faces I do think the photo box one is better so I kind of am thinking this is why I've put them in this order but I'm liking the snapfish the least now free prints more photo box more and tesco is the best but the issue with the tesco's is that it's just not what i'm used to so i'm almost wanting to pick different photos and edit them slightly okay so another photo which is all objects <laughs> and things and i think that's the issue is when i do include more things in a video in a video in a photo it's smaller because it's not the main focus for me so comparing the snapfish and the free prints you can see how much worse quality the snap fish is you can see all the dots on this plate it shouldn't be dotty it's a smooth material and yeah i just really really don't like that you can see so much more it looks like more detail on something textured it looks more detailed but it's when you then look at a smooth surface and you see how dotty it is like faces and i think that's why it's not quite working i think if they went back to their old paper and tried to increase the contrast and decrease the smoothing effect on the photos it might work but i don't like this new paper comparing photo box and um free prints can't really tell which which I prefer I think I might actually prefer the free print but then as soon as there's faces I'm preferring the photo box again but yeah I think free prints might be better for details on things but again it just doesn't work on faces as well so that's why I'm liking photo box more and then in comparison to the Tesco's I hate how dark this is like it's making that look black which that was not that is a brown maybe it was black but you can see my black pudding is actually black and there is so much more detail in these photos you can kind of more see the individual rice grains whereas there it's just so blurred over when you compare it to this tesco one if you look at that picture of that pasta look at the glasses the difference in the pasta i just it's such a difference and then this cake the tesco one being on top it's just so much clearer than this other photo so my final thoughts on my photo um, experience journey is that i think tesco's do the most the best quality photos however they are increasing the contrast on the photos and it is um a very different way of getting the photos so with test codes you pay 25 pounds for the photos and you can get them delivered in seven days to your local tesco's which has a max spielman in it that's important it's not just any tesco tesco's um and so you know that's a major factor obviously you've got to live near tesco's i've always lived near tesco's my only issue is so I want to get a job up north if I end up living in Leeds there aren't big Tesco's it's a city so they don't have the ones with Max Spielman in so I'm gonna to have to figure out that I'm gonna to have to edit my photos more in terms of the snapfish free prints photo box I think photo box is the best in general but then also photo box is more expensive um, so that's another thing to consider I will leave the prices of all of them down below i can't remember exactly how much they were i think photo boxes so for all of these you get 50 free prints a month and you pay for delivery um i think delivery for snapfish and free prints is three pound fifty 
I think I also got an offer on my first delivery from Free Prints. Um, photo box, I got paid £4 for the 50 free prints. I don't think photo box used to do this even a year ago because um, I've always printed my photos with photo box since I was 16 and now 22. Um, and I moved over to Snapfish to get that kind of deal. Or maybe it was because it was 50p a month cheaper I moved over. Um, but I do think that that 50p is, might be more worth it because of the quality of the prints and not turning everyone orange like the free prints does. Um, so yeah, photo box and Tesco's are proving to be my favourites. Tesco's, you have to be able to get to a Tesco, you have to buy them in bulk, but it does also mean that I don't have to print 50 photos a month. I sometimes wait for two months before I get around to Project Life. This would mean that um, if I was doing my weekly shop and just wanted to go pick it up each week, I could. I'm not limited in how many photos I have to buy. So I think that that's what I'm going to be going with. But I'm going to have to figure out how I'm editing my photos and what makes it look the best, which is going to be difficult because of the waiting process time and not knowing which print is which. I think I'm going to have to make a collage with numbers on it, do different settings on editing and then see how they turn out. But that's going to be quite a task. Um, which is going to be for another day. If you'd like to, um, for me to do that and show you how those photos turned out, I will let you go. I will do a video um, about when I get the photos back and the process that I did. If you have any tips on how to edit photos to kind of make them look less dark, like just kind of, yeah. I'm guessing that changing the contrast and give, changing the warmth are going to be what I'm going to be doing. If you have any more tips, please let me know down below. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Also, let me now know down below if you do use a UK printing site, um, which one you use. And if it's not one of these ones um, here, especially let me know so that I know to try them out. And thank you for watching and I will hopefully see you in my next video.